What's going on guys? Zach back with another video and today we are going to be taking apart and maintaining cleaning the Chavez. It's gotten a little bit of uh, dirt and dust and grime inside of it from use so let's get it topped down and let's get this thing taken apart and cleaned. So see you down there. Okay so the Chavez kickstart. The thing I love about the Chavez is it is T8 hardware all the way around. From the pivot to the body screws to the pocket clip screws, it's all T8 hardware. So, that being said, let's... I wanna do this side. How do I wanna take this apart? It's gotta be from this side because of the backspacer. So, let's just start unscrewing everything. I'm very intrigued to see how this, uh, I've seen videos on how the kickstart works, but I want to just see for myself exactly how. Okay, so scale comes off, it's a little bit dusty, that's okay. So, set that scale right there. And so here is the kickstart. So you see right there, it swings out. Okay, so it's on its own little track. I've always wondered. And then kicks up that way. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like that. All right. So let's get bearing off of there. Come on. Let's get the kickstop out. Let's work on getting this blade off of there. Okay, so there's another washer underneath. Let's make sure that we don't lose that. And just all that dirt and grit and everything inside of there. That's what we're gonna be cleaning off. So to be doing that, I just use these Zenni lens wipes. They're alcohol pads. So I'm just gonna take this one out here. Just give everything a good wipe down. Doesn't have to be crazy, but so I'll wipe down that lock interface, all up in there, the pivot, everything in there, the detent, or the kickstop track right there. Clean off everything inside of here as well. Set that down right there. Clean off this blade. That's gonna be the biggest thing that I wanna get cleaned. help if I was actually doing this in front of the camera. I'm not used to these top downs, so if you want to see more of them, let me know. And then the last thing is the inside of this scale. Just get that wiped down. And now I'm just going to take one of these like Q-tip, microfiber Q-tip is what I'm calling them. Um, everything I use in this video, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, but I'm just gonna look at all of that. That's gross. So, just cleaning off every surface I can inside of the pivot. And then we'll come back here. Really just make sure all these are clean. And what I find interesting, oh, there is an over travel stop. 
I didn't think that there was. There goes the bearing. It didn't feel like there was an over travel stop, but to my surprise, there is. So get that bearing cleaned up. We will get this bearing cleaned up. And now just take this microfiber cloth and just give everything a little wipe down. Cool. So I'm going to take my KPL original and we are going to build this back out the way that we found it. So let's get our kick stop mechanism. Get that washer in there. Let's make sure this is going the right way. Get our other washer, put it, sorry. Get that right in there. And let's get our blade. Actually, let's get our washer first. Good. And there goes the washer for the kickstop. So let me go find that real quick. Just as an extra caution, be careful. We're dealing with small parts that are not easily replaced. So when you are dealing with those parts, just be careful. And I did forget to add some lube to that bearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it now. And let's nestle that in right there. Let's reline all those. And now let's lube up our pivot there. Nice and neat. We will get our scale our bearing, add some lube right here. Perfect, there we go. Okay, now take our body screws, line these back up. Those all screwed back in there. Let's get our pivot, get that loosened up back in there. Okay, that's cranked down. Now we are good to go. Let's see how the action is, because we are centered. Is good and 
display play, none. And there you have it. There is a complete breakdown and cleaning of the Chavez. Let's get back up top. All right, guys, that is the full breakdown of the Chavez 229 Kickstop. If you like this video, leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know if you want to see more of these breakdowns, these how-tos, and all those things said. Until next time, peace.